Homelessness is an enormous and growing problem in Los Angeles. On any given night, there are at least 50,000 people without shelter. And Skid Row is the historical center of homelessness in Los Angeles. Accompanied with the fact that there is just a lack of affordable housing and a lack of pet-friendly housing, and then the fact that our city is being gentrified, it is fueling the homeless people and the homeless pet issues that we have here in the city of LA. The vast majority of pet owners consider their animals a member of the family. And of course, you would never want to move and leave behind a member of your family. So for some people, especially people with less economic power, pets can be part of the reason that they become homeless. Human shelters, a lot of them don't accept pets. So then they have to choose whether or not they're gonna enter that shelter and leave their pet so they stay on the streets. There are a number of our clients who have been on the streets for a long time and folks may say, why don't they choose to go into shelter? But they really face a Hobson's choice when we say to them, let go of that animal if you want some housing. They're struggling both to care for themselves and for whoever else they're taking care of, and also the animals. And we're often helping them to resolve the housing problems that can then let them and their pets be housed. From our perspective here at Michelson Found Animals, it doesn't matter what your situation is in life. If you want the joy of a pet, you should be able to have it. The level of your income does not equate to how much you're gonna love your pet or how much you can love your pet. Thanks to the generous contributions of Dr. Gary and Alia Michelson, we're able to help fund the efforts of a number of organizations working to help homeless and low-income pet owners. These include A Bridge Home, The Giving Spirit, the Rescue Train, Home Dog LA, Heart LA, and a partnership between Downtown Dog Rescue, the Inner City Law Center, and LA Animal Services for a Pet Resource Center in Skid Row. Together, these groups are supporting our city's homeless and low-income people and the pets who love them with much-needed pet supplies, services, vet care, legal counsel, and pet-friendly housing. People that we offer our services to are always filled with gratitude. You know, a lot of people living on the street, their animals are their, their reason for getting up every day and their oxygen. He means the world to me, and if it wasn't for him, I don't think I could have made it this far in my life and on this journey being homeless. Sometimes that helps people be happy. There's a lot of different issues down here, and it's comforting just to pet a dog. A lot of us do not have the finances to really keep up with the food, the, the, the health part of it. And I just really do. I thank God for all of you. I was homeless for 22 years. I, at the most, I had nine cats. You know, I just, I like cats. You know, they, they gave me a lot of responsibility. It made me feel that if I'm taking care of them, I can take care of myself. <laughs> you know? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. The problems faced by homeless pet owners are incredible. And the fact that many of them not only surmount those challenges, but have some of the happiest, healthiest, and most well-adjusted pets that you see is a testament to the strength of the human-animal bond. I'm so proud of what we're already doing in Los Angeles to support pets and people, and we still have so much more work to do. So working together, we can solve this problem for pets and all of the people who love them.